Hey y'all and welcome to my channel and in today's video I'm going to show you guys how to make this. I know you're like well I, I do it already but no for those who know and who don't know how to make this word search without having to use a Canva template or doing it the long tedious way or however way you do that is long and tedious. This is straightforward so if you watch right now I'm going to show you how to do that so let's get started all right here we go. Okay, so what we're going to do is you're going to hit on create a design and I like to make my standard custom eight and a half by 11 inches template. And so once it opens up, normally what I used to do is I would just go and click on templates here and select like um, word search and pick one of these created templates that these wonderful Canva designers have created. And then I would obviously alter it to my liking or to my theme word search, but that's not what I'm going to be doing here. Instead, um, I'm going to go into elements and I'm going to type in tables and Canva is going to pull up a selection of tables that actually look like the ones on Microsoft Excel. And I picked the standard one and which is a um, three columns and four rows, but obviously I want to have more rows um based on what i i based on my word search so I'll probably want about 10 rows uh columns and eight rows so to add your columns and rows you have to make sure that this table is selected so this whole thing is your table and inside each rectangle represents a cell and so as you can see you're going to see a plus sign come up here and you're going to see three dots if i hit the three dots at the top it's saying this is based on column so i want to add a column so you just add a column if i hit the plus sign at the top it will just add the column automatically now at the side so just make sure you always hit when you want to select all of the table just hit one of the four dots on the corners and then when you do that and you place your cursor around the table, the, you should see the three dots appear as well as the plus sign. So I want to add rows now. And there, there you go, it adds a row. So when you see on the side, basically from left to right, that's a row. When you see it at the top, these three dots, you're, that is based on columns. So anything associated with columns, anything associated with rows. So I obviously want to add more rows here. Um, so I'm just going to keep adding here. Um, what do I have? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Good. And then I've got one, two, three, four, five. So I need five more columns here. So I'm just going to add, but here's the plus sign. I'm just, that's two, uh, add three. Uh, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. I think I want it nine by eight. Yeah, that's what I'm gonna do. Okay. Okay, so there you have it. So here is my table um, uh, where I now am going to, I want to pretty much stretch it out, make the cells look more square like before I start adding in my text. So again, just click on the one of the circles uh to select all and i'm going to stretch it out just make it a little bit bigger i think i like this size and i'm going to center it yeah i center it okay and there boom all right so i think now i want to make this word search theme all about kitchen so what you will find in your kitchen so let me just add my text, my heading at the top and just call it like word search, uh, kitchen word search. And I'm gonna make it um, a bit bigger here. Bring it, center it, all right. And maybe change the font to something a little bit different here. Yeah, that's cool. Okay. All right. And then we can bring that down a bit here. Put that in the center. There you go. Okay. Um, and then I'm going to need to have text that 
is going to be placed in the word search. So anything about a kitchen, what do you find in the kitchen? Well, you find plates, uh, you find a sink, you can find an oven, and uh, let's do copy and paste, and we can find, um, uh, let's see, a stove, um, a fridge, and some cups, okay, boom, just like that. I'm going to align these here to the left, okay. And so now I need to place all these words in here. And you're probably like, well, do I have to then select a text here? And then, and then in this case, do each letter one by one and, and try to align it into the cell accordingly? Absolutely not. All you need to do, y'all, is, I'll show you here, select the cell. Double click in the middle. And do you see that cursor flashing right there? Let's see if I can zoom in a little bit more here. Right there, that's telling you, go ahead, enter some text. So in this case, let's say, what's the first word? Plates, so let's put plates here and I'm gonna put P. Then I'm gonna hit tab. It's gonna go to the next cell, put a L. A T E S. Voila. Just like that, y'all. Just like that. Okay. So obviously I'm gonna keep going here and I'm gonna add in, I'm gonna put in sync. I'm gonna spell that backwards. So K N I S. Um, we'll put in an oven going down. Oh, now the difference is you can only do that tab technique when you're going from left to right, you can't do it from going up or down. So you literally have to just type in your letter, then click the next box, double click, and then type in the letter, click, type in the letter, double click, type in the letter. Uh, so let's see, like for stove, um, again, type in the letter, click, type in the letter, click, type in the letter, click. Uh, what we got, fridge. Um, let's do, um, let's see where we could put that here. Let's put it here. I'm going to go backwards. F, R, oops, undo that. Let's put it back here. F, R, I, D, G, E. And then last but not least, cups. Um, I guess we could do it. Um, C U P. There we go. Uh, C U P S. So I just put all my words in. Like that didn't even take what, like two minutes ago. So now um, I need to fill in all the empty cells with just random letters. And this is where you now you can use the tab as you're going along each one, one at a time. So for instance, if I type in O, I hit tab, then N, tab, skip that one, skip that letter onto the next row. And then U and R, B tab, J tab, R tab, skip, uh, L tab, uh, uh, e tab, skip, Q tab, R tab, V tab, uh, T tab, skip, skip, J tab, M tab, skip, and so on and so forth. So all you got to do is just, you know, fill in all those empty cells to complete your word puzzle here. Just, it's really straightforward, y'all. You know, um, to 
and that's it that is it just like that so um let me zoom out a little bit more so we're almost done here so um i'm like okay i don't want to have my word search to have these lines here and you can easily remove that so all you have to do is just select it um, select all or just hit the corners um, and at the top here where you see this here um, this border with the lines it's called border when you click on it um, right now it's saying that the borders are black so I just want to so there's there's ways of doing this but I'm gonna show you this way so all you got to do is just make it white and um, and then that's it that's it it removes it right um, in this situation. So obviously I want the text is 12, which is fine because when you, it looks small now, but when you print it out, it, it you know, font 12 size, 12 font is quite big or text. I should say it's quite big, right? But I don't like how these lines between on each row, they're just too spaced out. So what I want to do is again, I'm going to select all. And then in this little um, picture here, which is called table spacing, if I click it, I can either, in, I can make it longer. So I can like drop it down to spread out more or I can reduce it. And so obviously it's already at zero. So what I have to do in this case is I'm just gonna have to bring it up myself. Is what I'm gonna to have to do and then um, again it's all about playing around with with that here so you see you could I could still bring up this table spacing I, mean, I could probably do that right there like up to 15 and then just bring it up a little maybe I mean you know what I mean like you could just play with it I think I um, sorry, that's the wrong one. That's that was let me. Yeah, I think I could do it like that. I think I like it like that. Okay, perfect. All right. So, uh, you're probably wondering why, like, you're like, oh, but there's this is all bold here at the top, the top row, but the ones at the uh, underneath it aren't, and it's okay. It's all right. Again, all you gotta do is just select all the whole entire table. And then just make the entire table bold or if you don't want it to be bold then just unbold it if you want it to make it a different color than black you can go ahead and do that um and you can also do italics as well it's like it's all up to you however you want it but in this case i want it to be bold but i don't like the the font canvas canvas songs so let's see what it looks like with alarion heavy um and that's not bad it's not bad but I do want to bring it up to about 14 here. There we go. You can see a little bit more. And, um, but what I also want to do is I want to have a border around it. So in order to do that, I just want to bring this down a bit more. Um, I'm going to put a shape behind the table here. And so by going into my elements and I'm on, I want a square with curves and it's like a rounded square and i'm going to just put position this to the back so i can see what i'm doing here and i am going to there you go increase it and now i want to align it accordingly perfect and then so some people may just want to leave it like that and you're probably thinking but what how do you get rid of these now you can see the cells the borders of the cells again it's the same thing just make sure you select all so sorry in this case just select the crossword first because i'm i was on the uh square the shape so select it and then go back into that border section and then where it says um border style right now you have it on um, a solid line so you don't want any lines so you just need to click you could either just go border weight to bring it down to zero or just hit no border okay um, so that's how you can remove it in but if you didn't have this 
and let's just say it was just white in the this was, so if you remove the inner part of this square and it's white then you won't see it so it doesn't really matter but you know whatever way, which way you feel comfortable doing doing it then you just do that but um in this case now i don't like this whole solid square i just want the outside of the square and then the inside the color removed so in order for me to do that i need to go back and click on the square go to the color and make it transparent but i still i need my border i need to have that border so all you got to do is just hit border style you're going to click on the, the type of border you want. So in this case, I want a solid one. And the weight, if you want to increase it, you can make it thicker or thinner. In this case, I want it to be probably about a seven. Yeah, there we go. And that's it. And then you just, you know, clean it up now. You know, so obviously this is about kitchens. I already got my stuff here that I used previously. So I'm just going to use it again just because this is... Just a quick and easy tutorial here. I just want to show you how to do this. So, you know, you add your little pictures. And let me size that up. Then bring in that to the side. And probably put this more in the middle. And yeah, like, like that. Okay. And try to center these two a little bit more. How's that looking? Bring that down. That right there. You know, obviously I'd probably have more wording, but again, I'm just showing you guys how to basically do this. And um, I'm going to have to select this because I want to bring this all up together. I don't want them separated. And let's see, what size is this? Let's see if we can make this a little bit bigger. There we go. That looks good. And that's it, y'all. That is it. Like, it was just, when I found out about these tables, I was like, oh my goodness. This will save me so many, so much time, I should say. Because the old way was just tedious and just annoying. And this was just so simple. So, yeah, I really hope you found this interesting and um helpful and if you have any questions please leave your comments down below but if you really did like this tutorial please like it and also subscribe to my page if you're feeling my videos so yeah thanks again and um y'all take care bye for now